Hello and welcome to program 39 in this series of programs and tutorials that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. If you're not part of our email list, then please go to markplex.com, markplex.com, and I will be happy to let you know when I create new programs or tutorials. Program 39 calculates and plots Oslo D411 symbols when applied to a chart and uh, it does this using price series provider and the dictionary so we don't need to set up a chart with uh, a number of data streams we've just got the one data stream but we're calculating Oslo D for several symbols it works on intraday and daily charts and hopefully this might be of use in your technical analysis but also you might be interested to look at the program which is commented and unprotected and modify it to your specific needs which you can also do so let's just go through the inputs I'm going to click on this particular chart you'll see it is a, a 30 minute pound dollar and let's just have a look and see the inputs okay so you'll see that the way that we specify the symbols that we want to analyze is we put them in as user inputs the names are in quotes Apart from this first one, now you don't have to have the sim. This this is actually getting the symbol for the specific chart, which, as I say, is pound dollar. You don't have to have that. You could just put in another symbol name there, and then you may or may not wish to actually plot all of those symbols, and that is determined by these values here: underscore plot zero to underscore plot ten. So, for example, say you didn't want to uh, plot the symbol ten, which is the uh, the dollar Singapore dollar, I believe you would simply change underscore plot 10 to false now the the next few inputs can tr control the stochastic calculation and finally the oversold and overbought these are lines which are horizontal lines drawn on the chart or on the subgraph I should say now you can change the uh, the color for the various symbols so um, these are all defined here gives you total flexibility to easily change colors for a particular symbol and equally you can change the style so you might want to make a particular symbol for example a little thicker and uh, then go back to the chart and you'll see now we've got that symbol drawn with a, a, a thicker magenta line and then what I've also done here is just demonstrated how we can actually just plot the lines without um, seeing the main uh, data one chart although it is still there in this case anyway as i say hopefully I, you will find this useful in your technical analysis techniques or otherwise find the uh, the program a source of information as to how to do similar things in your easy language programming thank you